After nine and a half years of traveling about 30,000 miles per hour, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft is about to give humanity its first close-up view of Pluto. The tiny New Horizons probe launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on January 19, 2006 on an Atlas V rocket. It became the fastest spacecraft ever launched, taking just nine hours to pass the moon and 13 months to fly by Jupiter. Now, after more than three billion miles, it is finally arriving at its primary target, the Pluto system. Why is this such a big deal? We've never seen what this remote area of the solar system looks like. Pluto is so far away that even the Hubble Space Telescope can produce only fuzzy images. But on Tuesday, New Horizons will fly within 7,800 miles of Pluto and its five known moons. NASA is already receiving images of the dwarf planet, but much better details expected from pictures the spacecraft will take as it zips by at approximately 7.50 Tuesday morning. What are scientists looking for? They hope to learn more about the surface properties, geology, interior makeup and atmosphere of Pluto and its moons, including the largest, Charon. They represent a new class of thousands of objects in the Kuiper Belt, the solar system's third zone after the inner and outer planets, that offer clues to early planet formation. No probe has traveled a greater distance than New Horizons to reach its primary science mission, but a few others have flown farther out in space. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, is exiting the solar system now. To put the distance New Horizons has flown into perspective, at Daytona International Speedway, where one lap is two and a half miles, it would take 1,200,000,000 laps to equal the distance to Pluto. If you were to drive from New York to Los Angeles, you'd have to make the trip 1,225,490 times. 